The American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers' sixth historic landmark designation is the first pit silo for ensiling corn forage in the United States. Harvesting, storing, and preserving forage for winter feeding has been a challenge in temperate climates ever since ruminating cattle have been domesticated. There is some evidence that the ancient Romans preserved green leaves in underground pits to use as cattle feed. Some also believe that in northern Europe where cabbage was preserved as sauerkraut, a parallel technique probably was used to create silage as early as the 17th century. By the latter part of the 1800s, the French had developed the process of storing and ensiling corn forage by burying cut stalks in trenches. Anaerobic conditions were achieved in the trench by tramping the cut stalks to compress them, then covering the trench with boards, straw, and tightly packed clay. The first pit silo for ensiling corn forage in the United States was constructed and used by Francis Morris, a Maryland farmer, in 1876 on a 1500 acre farm called Oakland Manor near Oakland Mills, Maryland, now a part of Columbia, Maryland. Morris learned of the technique developed by the French. He installed three pit silos inside this barn in 1876 and fed the ensiled materials to the dairy cows during the winter months. By 1886, Morris had five pit silos at Oakland Manor. One was 117 feet long. He shared his experiences and success with the pit silo concept at meetings of the ensilage congresses through the 1880s. Many farmers and agriculturalists were favorably impressed with the advantages of ensiled forage for cattle feed and adopted the pit silo for storing forage. Today, over 120 million tons of forage are ensiled annually in the United States. A significant portion of that tonnage is stored in variations of the pit silo. Pit silos with earthen, concrete, or wood sidewalls are now used for ensiling corn forage. One could even argue that the more recent development of silage bags is an outgrowth of the original pit silo. This plaque mounted on the Oakwood Manor barn reads, At Oakland Manor in 1876, Francis Morris built brick silos in his barn and introduced the practice of making corn silage in the United States. His further experiments developed the use of earthen trenches and thereby significantly contributed to the development of American agriculture.